morning, you guys. Welcome to this vlog. Someone's happy about all the snow. <laughs> Are you trying to eat it? <laughs> it's so sunny and nice out. I just can't believe how much snow there is here. This was like a shock to the system. <laughs> Last night when we got here, drove from New Jersey last night, and it's crazy how just like a couple hours south can make all the difference. There's no snow there. It's only like three and a half hours south in here. So much snow, but it's kind of fun. Brody loves it, and it's still sunny, and it'll probably melt soon if it gets warm, so it's not like it's like too freezing or anything. Got a laser hair removal appointment this morning. Just got here, so I got to run in. I go, why can't I see? Oh, there it is. I go to Milan. In case you guys are wondering, I know I've talked about them a bunch, but gotta run in. My appointment's like right now, so I'll let you know how it goes after. Okay, that was so quick and easy and pretty pain free, I would say. It's crazy how I feel like it just depends on like what session you like maybe the specific session because i feel like in the very beginning you're at a low level it doesn't hurt that bad but you also still have more hair growing back so i feel like that makes it hurt bad but then you go up in the strength of like the laser but then less hair is growing back and also i've heard that how bad it hurts also can depend on like the time you're at in your cycle which is crazy and i remember last time it like really hurting being like whoa that's a little spicy underarms resilient kind of thing and then this time obviously you go up every time and it like was not bad I was like oh that's so weird so also it was a lot quicker than I thought because I'm being sick it's better to be safe than sorry that's right I'm being safe instead of sorry because if you guys didn't know with laser hair removal you can't have any sun exposure you can't even be self tanned because it like picks up on the difference in the pigment in your like the hair follicle and the color of your skin. If you're tan at all, you could get a berm. And I've had that happen before. It's not fun when you think you're back to like your base color and you're not and you get little burns from the laser and it hurts and it takes a while to go away and it's just, yeah. So I was like, listen, I did self tan probably like four weeks ago now, but I don't think I'm back to my base, especially in my arms and legs. I feel like it just hangs on. And that's what takes so long is I do my like lower arms and legs. So we didn't do that. So it was a lot quicker, but I feel like no hair. It's growing back in my arms or legs. It's amazing. I feel like finally after, I couldn't even tell you how many sessions I've done, eight, 10, 12, something like that. Like I don't have to shave my legs and it's so nice. And I, I just let him like forgetting what it was like to shave them all the time. Cause I'm like, wow, it's been a month and I haven't had to shave my legs and they're just like smooth and it's so nice. So yeah, I literally just did underarms Brazilian since those are not like tan or anything. And yeah, I might not even come until the fall because I'm gonna start getting tan in the summer and stuff and you just wanna be careful of that stuff. So, anyway, that's my update on my laser journey very expensive i've spent so much money on it for a while i was like oh my gosh is this worth it because it's like taking a while it's like a process but now i'm starting to feel like oh this is worth it like the hair on my arms didn't bother honestly it's kind of like a gateway <laughs> type of thing situation i feel like because the hair on my arms i never noticed never bothered me and then i started doing brazilian underarm legs and i remember the manager at the old one i was going to was like oh yeah you could do your arms and i was like oh wow i never noticed like once you start doing laser on your legs you're like oh maybe i should do my arms maybe i'll do my underarms maybe i'll do my brazilian like you start doing all things but yeah now I just feel like it's worth it so anyway that's the update on that my laser hair removal journey I can link where I go Milan for you guys in the description I <laughs> these guys are walking back just staring at me they're like what is she doing talking to your camera um, I recommend Milan because I believe they have locations all over the US. That's literally why I first started going to them because I'm like, I move a bunch for Max's hockey situation and I need somewhere that I can keep going to consistently all over the place. So I've been in Pennsylvania, I've been in Boston, I've been here in Utica. So yeah, I recommend. I'll link them down below in the description. It used to be like, if I referred you like my little referral link, you could get 50% off or like some discount. I don't 50% off might be like 10%, 20%, some discount, but I don't know if they're still doing that. If they do, I'll list it down below in the description. So yes, now we are gonna go to the gym since it's nearby and yeah, it's good that I have this plan. I feel like this happens a lot where I'll go to laser and then I'll go to the gym after cause I'm like, while I'm out and about, it's like three minutes away, no excuses, I gotta go. Just left the gym. I'm feeling tired. Wow, that was really good. I ended up kind of accidentally walking for like an hour on incline because that's what happened. I was doing other stuff on my phone. Then like 30 minutes into walking, I was like, wait a minute, what am I doing? I missed the Bachelor finale last night and it's been 
killing me because I was driving back. Like, I was driving so I couldn't watch it. And then it doesn't come out on Hulu till today. So I couldn't watch it, like, last night late when I got back. So I literally... I'm not kidding. I have not gone on Instagram. I have not gone on TikTok at all since yesterday because I know there's going to be spoilers. People are going to be posting around it. It's going to pop right up. And I even texted my best friends. And I said, do not text me about this. I have not watched yet. Do not spoil it for me. That's how much I want to like have a full experience watching it. So the last like 30 minutes on the treadmill, I started the Bachelor finale. And I literally was like tearing up in the treadmill. I'm like, I gotta get out of here because I watched Daisy meet his family and I like just got to the point where Kelsey is gonna meet his family. So I want to get home, make a smoothie, and I gotta get home. I have like chores to catch up on, like vacuuming, cleaning the countertops, dishes, laundry, stuff like that since I've been away. So I wanna like do all that as quick as I can because then if I get all my ducks in a row and things I have to do, then I ideally would like to watch the rest of the Bachelor finale like before dinner. This is like really wishful thinking of me here, but I really think I can do it if I can focus and set my mind to it. Okay, let's go home. Oh my goodness, you guys. Look at how much laundry there is to do. Either two, like, really large loads, or maybe three or four. I'm gonna see if all this fits. We have pretty big washer and dryers. Oh, I'm like sweating. I just divided this <laughs> into lights and darks. It's always hard if you do that. Like my light pink sweat set. I've washed it a couple times, so I don't think it's gonna like bleed onto the white stuff. And I don't wanna wash it with the dark stuff, but it's not like, you know, I guess I could mix it into like, or divide it into like colors, whites, darks, but normally I just do lights and darks and everything turns out fine. to tell you guys what I've been using recently for my laundry. These are the Earth Breeze Laundry Detergent Eco Sheets. They look just like dryer sheets, but they're actually just super concentrated detergent sheets without the liquid. And I've been loving these because they are so convenient. This thin little pack that's like lightweight, you can carry around. So, so good for on the go. Definitely packing these to go back to New Jersey with me since we've never done laundry there yet, but we've heard through the grapevine that there is a washer and dryer at our hotel. So obviously this is so much easier than lugging around a big plastic jug of detergent. They're also eco-friendly. So I love this option for being more kind to our planet. And it just feels like I'm doing something good, even something so small like doing my laundry these little sheets can actually stop the millions of plastic jugs that enter our landfills each year so i like the fresh scent ones but they also have a fragrance free option if you are sensitive to fragrance and these i just feel like overall are really good for sensitive skin they don't have a lot of chemicals that are unnecessary and other detergents that would irritate your skin they're dermatologist tested hypoallergenic free of dyes and bleach things like that so these are amazing i like how it even says on the back it gives you a little guide of like how much to use this is such a big load you guys saw how many lights i had in there so it says a large load one sheet for extra large load one or two so i honestly might do one and a half is what i'm thinking i have a front load one or no top load one the like this as you can see so you just like toss it on top and they might look like plastic but they're look how easy they rip they're like a papery kind of thing okay that was not really in half let's do the big one there we go. Bada bing, bada boom. And I love that they have a subscription option as well since um, you never run out of laundry. <laughs> <laughs> but you will run out of detergent. So if you guys are interested, you can go to earthbreeze.com slash Gretchen to get started with 40% off. That's earthbreeze.com slash Gretchen for 40% off a subscription. Look at that. Easy as that. Bada bing, bada boom. Okay, you guys, now I have to vacuum. Uh, 
as you can see. There's just little Brody dust balls all over. Usually like in the corner of every room you can expect to find some Brody hair. But the issue is... <laughs> how sleepy he is right now um and someone someone who isn't me is really really he doesn't like the vacuum he's kind of scared it upsets him and disturbs him he looks very very peaceful right now this is the issue i run into i'm not even kidding well it's like a way for me to procrastinate vacuum but like i really need it like there's just there's always Brody here, and it hasn't been done in a minute, but he looks so cute, I can't bother him. Oh, what are we going to do? We have to vacuum, but you don't like the vacuum. Maybe I'll like tuck him in upstairs in a minute. Brody, we have cleaning and chores to do today. You have to help me. You can't just sleep. Oh, oh yes, my sleepy sir. Oh yes, oh yes, thank you for your paw. Oh, this is what you wanted. Belly rub. Who else is dog? Just loves a belly rub whenever you walk near them. <laughs> they just roll on their back. They're like, belly rub, please. <laughs> well, looks like we're not vacuuming right in this moment since he really wouldn't like that. So this is a perfect opportunity to make a coffee. <laughs> Procrastinate the vacuuming. I'm happy because I just grabbed this bag of coffee beans from Blank Street when I was in New York visiting my besties, KP and Louisa. And Blank Street ice vanilla lattes with oat milk are so stinking good. Like up there with the, at the very top with my favorites. And then I saw that they sold the beans that they use and I'm like, I need those. So this is so fun for us to try these together for the first time and hopefully it tastes just like how it does at Blank Street. Okay, here we go. You know what, this is reminding me what I really need to do in this moment instead of making a latte. You know what, this will be my motivation to do more cleaning. Oh, these smell so good. Mmm, 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 mm. I'm so excited right now. Wow, young me, guys, remember all of high school and college? I didn't drink coffee until I started dating Max. So young me would be like, what the heck, you like the smell and the taste of coffee, but now this just smells like happiness to me. Okay, we're gonna do this, and then my latte will motivate me to do these dishes. There's so many dishes in the sink, but I can't put them in the dishwasher because the dishwasher's full of clean dishes, so we need to have a dish moment. But first, I smell a latte. may just be one of my best ones to date this is so good i think i made it with extra tlc because i was showing you guys you know it's gonna be good when it's this color this is the perfect color not too dark not too light and i just think these beans are it these are where it's at i'm so happy i got these along with this oat milk i think that extra creamy might even be even better but i can't taste much of a difference between the two i like both of them actually no i still think the califia barista blend in the blue smaller bottle is my actual favorite of all time i believe that's what they use at like most coffee shops as well and this vanilla they use at my favorite coffee shop on the cape wow 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 okay no more procrastinating time to clean <laughs>
you guys once again I said recently in a vlog I was actually standing right here doing laundry let this be your sign if you're putting something off like cleaning the kitchen unloading the dishwasher loading the dishwasher cleaning the countertops it's always quicker than you think Brody, are you getting in position to snuggle with me and watch a batch? Yeah, you are. He knows. I looked at that clip. 12 minutes. That's all it took. 12 minutes. In my mind, it's like, oh my gosh, it's going to take an hour to like do the dishes, clean the countertops. Vacuuming does take a while. Probably will take me like 20 minutes to vacuum all down here and upstairs. But no can do. Don't want to upset the king. We'll do that later. <laughs> but damn, yeah, I just realized. I'm like 12 minutes and I like psych myself out. Then I started like trying to negotiate with myself after I did the dishes. I was like, okay, you don't need to clean the countertops now. Like maybe do it tonight. Like I saw a TikTok recently and I thought this was such a good idea. I feel like a lot of people do this. I see TikToks like closing shift of the night or like opening shift of the morning and you basically pretend that you, your house and home and kitchen is like a restaurant or a store that you're like opening and closing for the day, which I love. Like I've seen really cute like opening shifts and now I'm thinking of it like inspiration ones where our girl's like waking up my house and she was like running around opening up the curtains turning on the light lighting a candle twinkly light like I don't know stuff like that and I thought it was really cute but I saw one the other day and it was like a husband and wife and it was like closing shift and it was them like cleaning the kitchen together before they went to bed and it was just like this is like the best thing to wake up to in the morning is a clean kitchen like your mind isn't cluttered because you have a clean space whatever so I was like oh okay I'll just like clean the countertops later like closing shift tonight and then I was like okay Christian no you have no excuse do it now <laughs> It'll take like two seconds. Countertops really needed it. I used to be so good with like vacuuming every day, wiping down the countertops every day. And I feel like when you're in a routine of it, like every night, it's like easy and I would just do it and I wouldn't even think about it. But I've been out of the routine of it. And then there's like roadie dust balls everywhere and like coffee stains on the counter. And I'm like, Gretchen, this is gross. Don't do that. So, oh, okay. I'm proud of myself. And you know what? <laughs> I'm just about, I'm actually bad at relaxing. I feel like people wouldn't know that about me maybe with the, I don't know I don't know but I like have always thought that about myself I'm like oh people are good at like taking breaks throughout the day watching a show going for a walk stretching meditating journaling whatever like I feel like I just don't do that I'm like it's a waste of time I gotta be productive I got stuff to do literally my aura ring said that this morning it was like because now that I've worn it long enough it's starting to do my stress throughout the day and it's like you are or, okay it was saying how my nighttime recovery is better than my daytime recovery because it's like you're stressed throughout the day. You're not like, like my daytime recovery isn't as good as my nighttime recovery. So it was like take breaks throughout the day, stretch, sit, walk your dog, meditate, whatever. So I was like, wow, it's kind of confirming what I've always known that like I wake up and I'm like, go, 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 go. And then when I sit down at night after I like shower eat dinner, I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> so this will be good for me. We're going to watch the rest of the finale now. Do I have time? I feel like I have stuff to do. Okay, maybe I'm going to post a TikTok. I have to post it and then watch it. I'm gonna like get carried away on my phone doing emails and stuff. I'm gonna post my TikTok quick and we're gonna watch. And I've decided in my head, I think I'm gonna do Chipotle for dinner. I'm so excited. This is hard. I know how much you start to picture it and what this ending can be. And then your brain immediately tells you to stop. See you later. Okay, I just pause because I have a thought, you guys. I know by the time this is up, you already know who, what happens at the end and stuff, but I feel like this is new unless I'm just not remembering. I just finished watching Kelsey meeting his family. And during, like, okay, during this final episode while they're showing Daisy meeting the family, Kelsey meeting the family, in the bottom left corner, was like the live reaction kept showing his family members like his mom his dad his sisters but as they're showing the footage like meeting of the girls meeting them sorry i'm like it's totally my words and i feel like that's giving it away i mean i feel like i'm getting the vibe already i felt this vibe since the overnight date episode two episodes ago i just want to know if anyone is agreeing with me here that well he seemed just a lot more like natural and happy and like into it with kelsey than daisy with daisy he seemed like i don't know i feel like his face was giving it away he was just like as she was like i'm falling in love with you and he was like thank you for sharing you know and with kelsey he was like oh my gosh i feel like with her he was like say it again like so happy and they just seemed so like 
natural and I saw TikToks in the past like week or so of pictures with him and Kelsey and was like look this looks like an engaged couple they look so like natural and like their body language like close together and then a picture of him and Daisy just like standing there next to each other it looks it was like this looks like your date for formal that you're kind of uncomfortable with and I'm like because I've been rooting for Daisy the whole time she's been my favorite and I felt like they're so good but then I just feel like Kelsey and his relationship like surpassed them almost and I yeah what I'm trying to say is I feel like the family's reactions live watching this back is giving it away because I feel like the whole time it was showing Daisy I don't know it felt like a melancholy vibe <laughs> <laughs> it felt just kind of like dreary and gloomy and like she kept being like if it's not me like my heart will be broken and like it kept showing the family and they were like seemed kind of like sad or uncomfortable and I feel like right when Kelsey walked in and it showed the sisters and the mom they were like smiling so big looking back at it like it's her so I feel like that kind of gave it away but I'm just getting the vibe that it's her but it's also the reason I haven't gone to social media at all is because I literally don't know what's gonna happen because I feel like I saw spoilers both ways on TikTok saying that he was spotted with Daisy after the season ended filming finished filming and then I also saw spoilers that like people thought that Kelsey was like accidentally filming at the house that they would meet after like you know how they like meet up secretly after the show finishes filming but before it airs and people are like oh my gosh she like was filming at that house like TikToks or pictures and was like leading them so it kind of proves that she won but then people said that they saw him with Daisy so I don't know but that's just like what my gut is telling me so we'll see i really want to see who he picked but i need to like get chipotle soon i'm getting hungry but we'll see if i can get to that part before i get dinner <laughs> who do you pick i want to know i just feel like he's giving it all away with his facial expressions he seems happier with kelsey but i feel like we didn't get to see her personality that much like i didn't like her until like the last episode you know he's literally already acting like he's breaking up he's like i want what's best for you even if it's not you and me he's like already telling her and she's so upset i'm so sad for daisy she can already feel i knew it i felt the vibes she was just like crying in her interview and was like i love him but it hurts so bad in the producers why like why and she's like because he's not sure about me like she knows it mm. i'm like i'm used to someone Loving me, but still, like, not, like, Daisy. I want to hug her. Frank, I can already tell how this is going, and I don't want her to be heartbroken. Oh, that was such a weird conversation from them. He was just like, she's like, I love you, and he was like, thanks for telling me. And then he's like, I gotta go. Walk me out. Like, it seemed like they were breaking up. And I feel like she's getting such a vibe from him. I feel like this is the most, like, weird The Bachelor has been to one of the final two. Because both always think it's them 100%. And Daisy literally just said at the end of her speaking, she goes, if I'm being 100% honest, I don't think it's me. She can, like, feel the vibe. Oh, and he's gonna be, like, with Kelsey all day, like, so smiley. Oh, this is so hard to watch. Sorry, I'm just bringing you guys along with me since I'm alone. Well, I'm with this guy. <laughs> But you guys are coming along this ride with me. Oh, he's way more smiley with her. I knew it, but I'm so sad for Daisy. Already. The build up. Just let her go. <laughs> he should have told her like right then and there. And not like string her along, you know? Oh. How are you feeling? My God. I thought Daisy was just about to go see Joey to say I gotta go. They. Uh, the final two have never spoken to each other on this last day ever. Do you care if I ask you? Or do you like explain a little bit how they um, never <gasps> the family was really nice? But I think this is the first time they're like close, like they're like good friends. Daisy just wants her to be like, Yeah, we've been so solid so that she like is for certain that it's not her, so then she's gonna leave or something. I don't know. Oh, oh <laughs> this is what they meant when they said never seen before. They came together. If they walk out of that car together, he is gonna be like, they're gonna be like, Who is it? Just tell us. I'm freaking out. Okay, they didn't come out together, but I can't even watch this. I can't even watch. <laughs> Literally horrible. Best for me. Tell them to do what's best for me. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. They're both like sobbing. <laughs> me too. This is so sad. Oh my gosh, his face. He's so sad. <sighs> Wow, I feel like this is the most the person that's getting broken up with has known. She was like, because they kept saying nice things about each other. And she was like, the thing is, it's not me. Or the thing is, you're not going to choose me. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. 
crying <laughs> such a much. Now I'm crying because I'm happy for that. This has been like the best season ever. My heart. If you guys didn't watch, sorry. <laughs> You're like, you don't care about this. It's just me watching for like five minutes and crying. Oh. You know, I know I always think about how after they get engaged, they're probably like, okay, can we get each other's phone numbers now? They don't even have like their phone numbers or like Instagrams because they don't have phones. Oh, the final rose. I forgot about that. Oh. My heart. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm not okay after that. Clearly, I have like 30 minutes left where he probably comes and chats with Daisy and Kelsey and all that and like where they're at now. Hopefully Daisy's doing better. But we gotta go pick up food. And I gotta hustle because Max's game is in like 30 minutes. And Brody and I wanna watch. They're in Toronto playing the Maple Leafs. And then maybe I'll finish the end of The Batch after. Oh, I need to collect my thoughts. I'm emotionally so affected by that. Did you wanna come for the car ride? Yeah. He really wanted to come with, so he's gonna come for the ride. <laughs> Woo! I wish they had like a pup cup equivalent for you. I don't know what it would be. Maybe like a bite of chicken. No, there's seasoning on there. Maybe a bite of tortilla or something. I'll see what I can do, sir. That took a while, huh? Oh, thank you for kiss on the mouth. Thank you so much. <laughs> I got in there and they were, oh, oh now it's dark. They were only doing mobile order, so I wish I would have ordered earlier. Like, I probably waited 15 minutes, but it's okay. Yeah. Bag acquired. I'll show you what I got when I get home. I got tacos, because I feel like the bowl is always so big I have a stomach ache after, but now I'm, like, so hungry. I kind of wish I got a bowl. Anyway. Okay, let's go home. We got a game to get to. We got a game to watch. Your dad is playing. It's always so funny how they wrap up the tacos in foil. And if you know, you know, the best part, the salad dressing. I'm so excited right now. Load it up. Woo! If you're wondering what I get. Hang on. <laughs> and it's the same that I do in my bowl. I do chicken, black beans, corn salsa, tomato salsa, lettuce, cheese, guac. I could throw in some peppers. I could mix up the beans. Usually do like white rice. Vicky used to do brown rice. Yeah, in the salad dressing. And it's so good every time. <laughs> Uh-oh. Two, two. <laughs> Whoa. I actually think I've gotten copyrighted before you guys from filming the game too much, so I'm gonna have to limit that. I think it's like, I mean, I'm sure copyrighted by the NHL. Anyway, hopefully the audio is okay, but reminder, these little Brookie Caramel Candy Clusters from Trader Joe's are so good. You gotta try them. If you haven't, whoa, those are a bunch stuck together here. That's what it looks like. It's like chocolate, brownie, crispy, crunchy, caramel on top. They're just so good. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, take the bag away from me. <laughs> you guys, I was telling Max yesterday on the phone. I was like, I'm feeling good about it tomorrow. I feel like you're going to play. I'm feeling like it's time for a goal. It's been a minute. Usually I have a pretty good gauge on things. Could be wrong. I don't know. I just had a good feeling. And I feel like I feel it like when it's been a while. Like, okay, it's time for an assist to goal or whatever. So, everyone, cross your fingers. Why am I not seeing 46 out there? Every game I'm like, put in, no. <laughs> go, 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 <gasps> yeah! Brody! Ah! Are you freaking kidding me? Go, <laughs> ah! Meg! Uh, let's go! Let's go! <laughs> Guys, my manifesting powers are insane. I can't even believe it. My heart is literally beating through my dress. Okay, I'm gonna rewind and watch it again. I'm freaking out. Let's go. I'm so happy for him. Woo. Okay, this is just a recap of the game, but they won. Day. Here, let's mute this for a moment, shall we? They won 6-3. So I guess his was still technically the game-winning goal, right? Because that's when that put them over. 
three, three, I think. I'm so happy. And then, yeah, then there was another goal and then an empty net goal after his, but I'm so happy. He's gonna be all excited. Of course, my phone just died and right as it came in because I was taking so many pictures and videos during it. So I just wanted to plug it in. Max is probably texting me back. I'm so happy for him. morning finally got to vacuuming last night it got late and i was like i never vacuumed i was like i'll have to do it first thing and show them and thank goodness i got through the whole house it did take like 20 minutes so i knew it would and i feel like it started to sound weird if any of you have the dyson like the suction sounds weird i didn't even notice i looked down and it was like you need to clean the filter like rinse it out and let it dry for 24 hours i'm like see i didn't want me to vacuum no I got through all the vacuuming, but now I had to, that's what I was doing, rinsing out the filter. There it is, drying. Isn't it funny when you have to clean things that clean things? When you have to like, like the vac, like you have to clean out the vacuum, but the vacuum is clean. Or you have to like clean your washer, but you're like the washer clean, so I have to clean the washer. Or like clean your dishwasher. I like never clean my washer or dishwasher, so I know. Do you guys do that? Do I have to do that? But I don't know how it's, it sounds like scary. And since I never have, they're probably like gross wherever I can clean them out. I don't I just fluffed this laundry this morning since I never folded it yesterday. And there's nothing better than like mm, clean, fresh smelling, warm laundry. Oh, I want to take a shower right now and have, I think there's a towel in here, have this warm towel wrapped around me. That is the best feeling ever. Are you coming to help me fold? Come here. <laughs> Are you coming to help me fold? Thank you. That's so nice of you. I just started the dark this morning. I'm getting behind, Brody. I got lazy last night. We were watching lots of batch and hockey. Okay, here we go. Folding party. Look at us go, having a productive morning. I feel like this is ending up being the longest vlog ever. What did you say, Brody? I chatted so much yesterday. You are my little shadow today. Why are you following me around? You guys can see him, I feel like he's just out of sight. Come here, I can see you. Oh dear, yeah, you are. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I feel like I'm his last resort though. You only love me and follow me around and give me attention if there's no one else to hang out with. This moment, you want some attention, some pets. He's <laughs> wagging his tail. I don't even think you can see. Anyway, um, yes, I think this vlog is getting long. So I'm trying to say, starting a new one today. But I figured we could end this off here because I was just gonna open these packages and I was like, I might as well show you. First of all, I have to say, just open this and like, this is so cute. I love the pictures that come on the emergency packages sometimes. Isn't this adorable? That's like you. You want to stand on a, on a Shetland, Shetland pony? <laughs> Brody. So, you guys are following on my Instagram. You may know the drama where basically, long story short, I fell on the stairs. Like a big dum-dum. Like the uncoordinated klutz I can be. <laughs> It was so bad. I was so mad at myself. When stuff like that happens, it's always the worst moment. Like we were running out the door to go get coffee and go to the mall. And I was like, did my makeup, did my hair, dressed up cute. Running down the stairs, not paying attention. Phone in one hand, camera in the other hand, holding two bags. In my knee high black heel boots and my favorite leather leggings, go flying down the stairs. I tripped in my boots so that I could barely walk in again. And had some rug run on my hands. Really hurt my shin, which in an unfortunate manner hit my shin in the exact spot that I slammed my shin when I was falling. I'm klutzy, is what I'm learning. Klutzy? I'm cl I'm uncoordinated. I'm just what's the word I'm looking for? Clumsy. Not cl I'm like klutzy. Clumsy. I am clumsy. And in St. Lucia in January, arriving to the hotel and getting off the boat and I start slipping, falling off the boat, which that, you know, made sense. It was like a wet edge of the boat. They're like, be careful. I'm like, yep, got it. It's wet and slippery. 
slipped anyway and luckily two guys working there like literally <laughs> saved me from falling in water with all my bags that was so bad i really hurt my shin what i'm trying to say is when i fall down the stairs i slam my shin on the ground ow why did i just hit it it hurts actually so bad it's still above i feel like the st lucia thing like never healed and this made it 10 times worse i honestly should get it looked at everyone's like uh did that thing even heal you should probably i probably needed stitches honestly in st lucia it was so bad anyway that happened, hurt my knee pretty bad over here. Also kind of like rug burn. What I'm trying to get at is I ripped my favorite leather leggings. I didn't know that that could happen by like hitting the ground so hard, but like these are like nice leather leggings just ripped right here and i was so sad because i thought they discontinued these i don't think they make them anymore but luckily i looked them up on aritzia and they're on like final sale and i was like please have my size please have my size and honestly these are looking really small i feel like my other ones were like stretched out so hopefully these can work and these are the aritzia daria paint i can link them down below they might have like one pair left on final sale that's what was nice though is i want to say they're like 130 dollar leather leggings yeah but they might have been like 50 bucks because they're on final sale anyway i had a small for like years and I feel like they were kind of stretched out and I saw they only had an extra small I'm like yeah that is not gonna work but then I had like the regular inseam but then the tall inseam they had a size small so I snatched them up so quick ordered them because these are literally my favorite like I've had the commando I've had the Spanx I just like these better because I feel like they're just very like real leather looking like they look like leather pants that are tight to look like leggings not like leggings that look a little bit leathery you know what i mean because like the spank one spanks ones are like look like leggings that kind of have like a leather look but these feel like leather in the shape of legs i don't know if i'm making any sense but these are my favorite and that was the one thing that went my way for falling down the stairs is they actually had these still online I'm like 50 bucks who knew they also look really long i remember the regular inseam being long I'm like i'm five nine so i don't know who would need the tall if you're like six feet tall these are looking very long, but they'll be great. I'm so happy. Okay, sorry. That's wow. I'm like, this is so long as I talk for five minutes about my wrist leggings. Last up, I ordered a black bathing suit from Revolve. She is so cute. It's one of those black, like, bandeau tops with the little rose detail. I thought this would be so cute for some trips I have coming up this spring. Just plain black. Black bottoms to go with. I had to wait for this on pre order, so I don't know. It's probably still out of stock or pre order, but I can link down below for you guys. Okay, finally gonna say goodbye. Longest vlog ever. Love you. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.